characteristics of dicot and monocot stem and root. Stems and roots of plants are made up of different types of tissues. These tissues form different layers in the composition of stems and roots. To study the structural details of the stem or root of a monocot or dicot plant, it is essential to get familiarized with the sectioning and staining techniques used with plant materials. It is also necessary to take the sections with uniform thickness so that the light passes through them equally and the different tissues found in the material are clearly visible under the microscope. To examine the tissues clearly, it is desirable to stain the section with suitable stains as different stains color the tissues differently. Materials required Fresh material of sunflower stem Maize stem Sunflower root Maize root New blade Compound microscope Slides Cover slips Petri dish containing water Saffron in solution, glycerin, brush, needle, filter paper, dropper. Procedure Take a blade and a sunflower stem to be sectioned. Dip the top of the material and the blade in water. Hold the material to be sectioned horizontally between the thumb and the first finger of your left hand. Cut the sections of the material quickly using the blade. Transfer the sections in petri dish containing water. Using a brush, select a thin uniform and complete section and place it on the glass slide. Using a dropper, take some saffron in solution. Pour one drop of saffron in solution over the section and allow it to stand for 2 minutes. Remove excess stain using a filter paper. Pour a drop of glycerin over the section. Place a cover slip gently on the section with the aid of a needle. Remove the excess glycerin using a filter paper. Repeat the same procedure for the sunflower root, maize stem and maize root and prepare the slides. Observe each section under the microscope. Observations Dicot stem A typical dicot stem shows an outer layer of parenchyma cells forms the epidermis. Beneath the epidermis lies a few layers of collenchyma cells forming the hypodermis. The cortex in dicot stem consists of several layers of parenchyma cells that lie between the epidermis and the vascular bundle. Endodermis is a single layer of parenchymatous cells that separates the vascular tissue from the cortex. Vascular bundles are wedge-shaped and are arranged in a ring, which is an important feature of dicot stem. Each vascular bundle contains xylem and phloem. The parenchyma cells of the central portion of the stem make up the pith. Monocot stem The internal structure of monocot stems reveals some differences with respect to that of dicot stem. The most significant feature of monocot stem is the occurrence of scattered vascular bundles and differentiated ground tissue. Epidermis is the outermost covering of the stem made up of a barrel-shaped parenchyma cells. Hypodermis lies between the epidermis and is made up of sclerenchymatous cells. Dicot root the transverse section of the dicot root having an outermost covering called epidermis made up of the single layer of parenchymatous cells. The cortex consists of several layers of thin-walled parenchyma cells with intercellular spaces. The innermost layer of the cortex is called endodermis which is made up of the single layer of barrel-shaped cells. Vascular bundles are less than 6 in number and are arranged in an alternate manner on different radii. This type of arrangement is called radial. Monocot root Monocot roots vary from dicot roots in some ways. The central portion of the monocot root is occupied by well-developed pith made up of parenchyma cells. The vascular bundle consists of eight or more alternate bundles of xylem and phloem called radial bundles, 
a typical monocot root having an epidermis which forms the outermost covering of the root. A single layer of barrel-shaped cells make up the endodermis which separates the cortex from the vascular tissues. As in dicots, the monocot root also has a large cortex made up of many layers of parenchyma cells. Precautions Dip the top of the material and blade in water before cutting the section. Brush should be used while handling the section. Remove extra glycerine with filter paper.